pancake eating, Germany, Switzerland, modeling. All that and more on today's news. Please stand. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Good morning, hot dogs. I'm Thomas. And I'm Yasmin. For lunch today, lines one and two, taco meat with shell, line three, closed, line four, soup and salad bar, leftover chicken and rice, or cheese crunchers, line five, big daddy pizza. Today's birthdays go out to Nathan Hurlis. Also, happy birthday to one of our custodians, Mr. Skaggs. Student Council meets today in the collaboration space during community. A friendly reminder that you can get your chocolate chip, sugar, or M&M cookies outside of room 133 for only a dollar. Specialty cookies this week are Snickerdoodle on Tuesdays and Thursdays with sugar on Wednesday. Also, be on the lookout for a fan favorite cookie edition coming soon. Crash First Meeting will be held today in room 201. Please plan to be there if you are interested. Are you interested in traveling to Germany and Switzerland? I know I am. The Fearless Flying Ho Frankfurt Hot Dog Travel Club call up meeting is today in room 131 with Mrs. Woodard. If you're interested in a SAT officer position, pick up an application outside of room 131. Please return them by Friday and remember to attend the call out meeting on September 11th. Reminder, DECA members will be having a DECA social at the King of Pancake House this Friday at 7 a.m. This will be a good opportunity to get to know your leadership officers and other DECA members. DECA would also like to give a shout out to Pedro Poses for creating week one DECA Backpack Buddies weekend menu. Now, over to Izzy with sports. Sub dogs, it's your boy, bring the sports. In tennis news, the hot dogs fell in Northwestern 4-1, with Noah Wilder grabbing the only point for the team. The next match will be today at McCutcheon at 5. In soccer news, the boys varsity soccer team fell to, Harris, to the Harrison Raiders in regular season play. Harrison was able to capitalize on opportunities and defeated the Frank Frankfurt 6-1. Lone goals from hot dogs for the hot dogs came from senior Chris Hernandez. Shout out my boy. Girls soccer will be traveling to Crawfordsville to face the Athidians with the game starting at 5.30. The boys cross country team at the Harrison 8-way meet had a bunch of season bests and tied for third place, losing to the tiebreaker to Lafayette Jeff. All five girls had personal bests placing fourth as a team. The volleyball team defeated conference opponent Northmont in three straight sets behind a strong serving performance. You can check out the action on HDTV on the YouTube channel. Shout out to Lathan, Austin Pennery, Emily Shippard, and myself for helping put out the uh, broadcast last night. A call out meeting for wrestling will be in room 301 right after school. And a call out for the girls basketball will be tomorrow. And uh, I guess that's it. Uh, now the weather. Today will be mostly sunny with a high of 75 and a low of 54. Tomorrow morning will be around 54. The autumn weather is coming. That's all for today's weather. Now back to the studio. Five, four. For news today, starting this year, the Humane Society of Clayton County is forming a junior board of directors. All high school students are qualified to apply. Applications are available in the student services. Applications then need to be turned into Ms. Aguirre. Please stop by and pick up an application soon. Seniors, Louis Tuck Shop will be hosting their 7th annual statewide model ser search beginning on Saturday, September 1st. Two students will be named top model and will receive a $1,000 scholarship. For anyone that is interested, check out your email for the link to the website. That's all for today's news. It's only the third week of school. But remember to like the like button and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Happy hump day and to make it a good one. Have a good day, Daniel. <laughs>